Let's look at how we can round numbers in Excel. Here we've got an example of a number of uh, uh, gamers, their, their names, Ed, Ned, Jed, Red, Ted, Fred, and Wilbur, and their rating. Now, looking at this table of numbers, it is painful to look at. Ooh, look at, it's just, there's just too many numbers there. Humans don't like numbers. And when there's decimal points that go on forever, like these numbers, they are especially painful to, to look at. So one of the principles in statistics is that we're trying to make numbers easier for people to understand. So what we want to do is we want to round these numbers so they're easier to read. Now, the way that we can do this is we can select all of those numbers, and the easiest way of doing this is to select the whole column. So I go up to the top of, of the column and I click once, and then I'm going to go up to this number section of home on the ribbon bar there, and I am going to change it from general, which means whatever, however many decimals you want, um, to a format called number. And number automatically reduces things to two decimal points. So here we have simplified this table immensely. And now we can tell right away that Wilbur with 11.6, uh, 16 is the highest rated player. Whereas Ed rated, is rated as 9.28, he's the lowest rated player. And, and it's just not painful anymore. So rounding numbers is something that you always want to do. You don't ever want to turn in a report to somebody. You don't want to ever present data to somebody that has decimal point after decimal point, eight decimal points, six decimal points, whatever, uh, whatever uh, Excel is giving you. You don't want to do that. Tradition, especially in the social sciences, say that we round numbers to two decimal points. So that's what we did with the number feature of the um, uh, number formatting. We just changed this to number and it changed it to two decimal points. Now I'd like to link this concept to a biblical concept, uh, a reflection on some biblical concept like we do at Azusa Pacific uh, University. And that has to do with the story of Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha were two sisters. Jesus went over to their house uh, one time, and Martha was excited that he was there, and she started getting the house ready and started cooking and preparing a meal and setting the table and was running around like crazy. But Mary, she just sat there with Jesus and the disciples as Jesus was talking, and she was listening to Jesus and just taking it all in, even worshiping God, listening to God's word that Jesus was talking about. Now, Martha saw this and was kind of ticked off. She said, Jesus, why don't you don't let her just sit there? Have her come into the kitchen and help, help prepare everything for me. And then Jesus replied in Luke chapter 10, verses 41 to 42, Martha, Martha, the Lord replied, you're worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, and it will be not taken away from her. Mary chose to listen to Jesus. Mary chose to listen to God's word. What does this have to do with rounding numbers? Rounding numbers we start off with a lot of crazy looking things, a lot of noise, a lot of things that are, are difficult to pay attention to. And we round numbers so that we can focus on what's important, what the numbers mean. And that's kind of like what Mary was doing in this story. There were a lot of things that she could have been doing, but she chose what was the most important. She was able to focus on what Jesus was saying and to, listening, uh, and to focus on listening to God's word, just like rounding numbers allows us to focus on the numbers and pay attention to what's important.